Hi, it's me again with Corel All Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this photograph of an actual draw, one they want to try to do, and then I've already done it. But they sent me the file. So this is the way to, if you have a picture in that, to uh, do this. And I completely understand. I'm going to make a duplicate of that. But see what happened? I don't know what is going on with this text. Because when I make a duplicate of it, it does that right there. So, first of all, I'm going to nudge it down. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put it back. I'm going to make my nudge factor a little bit. And I might make this into a two-part video and show them, maybe it could give them some insight on how I would do the engraving or the cutting. I'm going to left-click, right-click, and get an outline. And you see that it's not all one piece, but our weld tool is not open. There's no weld tool. So if you go to Object and Shaping, and go to weld, it welds it together and we're done. Now, we're gonna leave it like this without any color. Matter of fact, yeah, we can leave it like that. Now I'm gonna get out the, go to effects and contour. I'm gonna contour to the outside with rounded corners, just point one, just a little bit. Now I'm going to go to object, break the contour apart, and get this outer contour. I'm going to nudge it down. That's really what we want. Now at this time, we could actually turn it that blue. And I've got that blue saved. That's why I saved it. Is, uh, if you don't have it saved, you can get the outer. And the, the, I don't think the color matters because I think they're going to cut it out. I didn't do a very good job of clicking on the color. And then I can put that color into, let me zoom in. The color I do not think matters. And then I'm going to take away the outline for just a second, make it look good. But here's what we need to do. These individual, and they're not letters, they're, they're items. So I'm going to select them all and I'm going to left click, right click. But then I'm going to take this and make it a red hairline. And then I'm going to nudge it up where it goes. And I need to smart fill. So oh, one thing that would make it nice, if I will take all this in control G to group it together, that'll help us get rid of it in a second. I'm going to nudge that back. So everything outside the red line, I need to turn black. And it doesn't really matter what color. I'm going to go ahead and go RGB. And I'm going to, well, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to go everything outside that red. I want black. Whoop. I was looking for my next step. And it's almost easier to find sometimes if you'll do maybe like the bottom uh, the only thing I do not like about this is that spot right there because they're going to have to cut that out. And I think I've got it. Now, the reason I group, well, the reason I grouped this together is because now I can move that out of the way for a second and then move my hairline completely out of the way. And move this back. Now I can move the red out of the way and put this back. So that's what it's going to look like. And it looks pretty cool. Now, I don't think the, the colors are going to be whatever she, color she's going to paint it. So, and I don't even know if this was engraved uh, or cut out. I'm going to suggest you cut it out and paint it. It's pretty thin, but I think it'll work. So I'm going to make a part two on how I would put these letters back in there. If you're going to see these letters are standing off the wood, but to get them placed, I'll make part two on how to do this. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.